So. Okay, so let's go down this list just real quick. Start from the bottom. So okay, let's start from the bottom. The worst skeleton of all time as of recording, Mortis Strider. And that's uh. like a no question thing. There was never a, a moment where we would ever consider a, any car to be better than Mortis Strider here. No. Uh, worse than Mortis Strider here. Mortis Strider's is bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, second worst z- z- skeleton, Phyrexian Monitor. Yeah. A, har- yep. a harsh lot that we've given that, that boy. Looks like but... a, it looks like a Dalek, you know? It looks like a monster <laughs> from Quake. <laughs> You're not wrong. Uh, like, you would fight that in Quake. That's yeah. Yeah. Uh, and coming up on on third worst for number forty four, it's skeletal crocodile. Like I, I feel like that's. I feel like it's still good for it to be there. Sure. It's, I I it I feel like we may have been a little harsh on it in hindsight though. It doesn't regenerate. Yeah. It doesn't do anything. Yeah. It eats a thing. At, yep. At forty third, it's Cathari remnant. Not even sure it's a skeleton. It's a skeleton. It's got a skull, uh, but that's about it. That, that skull looks you know, like some meat on it. It looks like it's there got is meat a on it. sort of skeleton I think should get an honorable mention. Yeah. What's that? Skeletal changeling. Hmm. Technically a skeleton, and it's a skeletal changeling. I think that gets an honorable mention. Yeah, honorable mention. It goes. You're right. That's that's a good point. It's a ske- changeling specifically turning into a skeleton. Of the all the changelings we could talk about, that is the one most worthy of an honorable mention. It does, in fact, still have regenerate and everything, right? Because so. it's a skeletal changeling. Yeah, I think I think we could talk about it. We can put it on the list. Honorable I think mention. It's, it's honorable mention. Bottom of the list. When we do all the elk, we'll talk about game trail changeling. <laughs> uh, at forty-two, it's skeletal snake. Only as high as it is because we like how snakes' skeletons look. I don't know why that was so funny when you said that. It's skeletal uh, snake. I don't know. What the, sure. We like it. We like its bones. That's about it. Uh, at number forty-one, the Paragon of Open Graves, a fine card, and not a great skeleton, as it turns out. It's got a, It's got it's half got, of a skeleton's face. It's got a throat. At number forty, it's got Morn Willow. Morn Willow looks at the graveyard, and that's about it. I do that. Yeah, I could do that too. Uh, at number thirty-nine, it's Spawning Pool. Good, good yeah. effort. Good effort, Spawning Pool. <laughs> sure. uh, you try. Number- to cross that finish line. Yeah. At number thirty-eight, I've got to ask you a lot of respect for this card more now than ever. Like, did not show great on the rankings, but. It did work as like a gatekeeper for the list itself. Yep. Number thirty-eight. It's the Asphodel Wanderer. A Everybody very... below this needs to get out. Asphodel <laughs> Wanderer is basically. I'm looking at you, point. Paragon of Open Graves. Yeah, like it, this is the point in which everything past this is a proper ass skeleton. Yeah. Sorry, want the Paragon of closed doors. Get out. <laughs> nice. Uh, at number thirty-seven, it's the Unworthy Dead. Sure. They also have throats, but they're Phyrexian throats. Yeah, and they're spewing spores, which is kind of cool. And they, they're distorted skeletons, which is something. Uh, yeah. at, at number 36, it's Cinderbones. My boy Cinder B! Yeah, Cinderbones. Cinderbones also did a lot of work as a gatekeeper. Yeah, because it's fun. I want to say, but like on the lower end. Sure, like. <laughs> it kept up already dead and asked, but they'll wander out of the actual skeleton club. I'm si- no, no, no. What I'm saying as a gatekeeper, actually, it was more like a gate opener. It's like, is it better than Cinderbones? We almost invariably said yes. Uh, which I could always feel bad for Cinderbones. Cinderbones Unworthy a- dead only didn't get in because I couldn't picture it running in a scary way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Cinderbones is a fine boy. I mean, the issue yeah. is that it's an f- elemental skeleton, which is both works to its advantage and disadvantage. What can skeleton you say? Cathari coming up next. And it's, eh. yeah. it's all right. It's all right. Limdul's High Guard is actually a pretty strong skeleton. It's just, I don't know, he didn't inspire a lot of like emotions in us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No yeah. great affection for him. Rhymebound Dead, good callback, but I don't know. He just didn't, again, another case of just like... I don't, mm. I still don't like him. Yeah, he's not a lot of love there. 
At number 32, we have Marrow Bats. Yep. They're bat skeletons. Yep. They regenerate with blood. That's cool, I guess. At number 31, Rakdos Ringleader. Sure. Number 30. I thought this was actually going to be higher, given like my... I got the feeling for Red that you were going to aim higher with this, but I'm kind of actually happy with this is. It's Wall of Bone. No, I said it, was, it had it had contention. I didn't say it was the best. <laughs> it's at the bottom half of this list. Hey, it's not Lord Willow. Yeah, you're not wrong. I'm not, I'm not disrespecting it either. At number 29... Sorry. I just had an idea. Restless honorary, bones. Honorary skeleton. Yeah. What's your honorary skeleton? Skeletal grimace, of course. No. Oh. I'm just saying. That's if we're like... talking about. Okay, here's skeleton. the thing about skeletal grimace. If it was the skeleton of the grimace, then yes. But that's impossible because nothing can kill the grimace. Nothing can kill him. That just means that his skeleton can come out of his fleshy milkshake body. Mm. Mm. All right. All right. That's extra scary yeah. to me. Number 29, Restless Bones. Kind of like the point at which we would start considering actual mechanics of skeletons sure. more than anything else, because Restless Bones... Uh, you can't say that, because Vishino Skeleton is way up there. Yeah, Vishino man. Skeleton it, gets there despite its mechanics, dude. Restless Bones right, is... If it, it was, if it was also a really good skeleton, guess what? It would probably be above Golgari Grave Troll or something. Yeah. So, that checks out. Sure. All right, all right. Demir Houseguard is a fine skeleton, and one of the many skeletons who got modified for China, but it just didn't inspire a lot of love. Demir Houseguard we used a lot of as a as a yeah. benchmark. Yeah, yeah, I, would, I wouldn't really worry like about that. that too much. But Urborg skeleton, very fun skeleton, but he didn't just didn't do it. Just didn't do it. No, nope. Sorry, Urborg skeleton. Flail. Yeah, which I like. Too gutsy. But... I don't want skeletons with guts. Uh, number 26. It's the big legendary spooky mythic skeleton, Scytherix, the Blight Dragon. A better dragon oh, than good. it is a skeleton. A better Phyrexian than probably either of those things. Yeah. Uh, at number 25, again, not the greatest skeleton in the world. It's just a tribute. It's Tenacious Dead. Still better of a skeleton than <laughs> Scytherix, the Blight Dragon. Definitely. Absolutely. 100%. <laughs> At number 24... This is such a stupid thing we've done, and I love it! <laughs> at number 24, a great skeleton that does a lot of work, a workhorse skeleton, which make which is kind of funny, because he's definitely not a skeleton you make for work. He just happens. It's Sanitarium Skeleton. Hooray! Yeah, good guy. for you. Uh, at number 23, it's Flayton him. He gets in there. He drinks. And he's ripping... He's bec- He's one of the very few voluntary skeletons. Yep. Which is definitely worth some notice. At number Watch 22. It. Yeah. At number 22, we have the Century of the Underworld. All right. All right. That's a that's card a... that I liked more than most other people. And I think that's why it's higher up here. Than I think it's cool. Else. That's a cool it's card. Galatio Griff. Yeah. At number 21, a good friend. Yeah! A true friend. Maybe not the best with his money or his investments in either Bitcoin rigs or dried strawberries. Ah, uh, it's Manor Skeleton. I've also got into vaping. Oh, God, skeleton. Uh, at number 20, definitely cutting something good with the crew. It's the Kelder Undead. Please, it's Kelderan. Whatever. They're posing good. They're posting, posing real good. At number 19, it's some very good skeletons that are just, they're just dread skeletons, but they're in some ways much better. It's Restless Dead. They're really, really good at dressing themselves. Very good dress, very good theme. Good for them boys. At number 18, it's the people skeleton, Carnage Gladiator. If only you could just <laughs> shoot out <laughs> your thing. Come on. Yeah. And number 17, one of the biggest skeletons. Like, a very, very big skeleton with a great head. It's Skeletal Worm. The biggest, in fact. Highest mana cost, largest body. It's the biggest of all skeletons. Good on you, Skeletal Worm. Uh, at number 16, hey, 
he's just a farmer. He's just trying to do his job. Kind of a dark horse of all the skeletons that sure. we have so far. Like I wouldn't expect Raw Farm Skeleton to be so high, but it still feels like it was a, it was well deserved. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Raw Farm Skeleton. Number 15, our other mythic skeleton. It's the champion of Stray Souls. He's a big boy. He's a big skeletal boy. At number 14. Much more skeleton like mythic. Yeah. Higher number... than he's ever been in his life. <laughs> Fiatino skeleton. Standing tall. On any list ever. <laughs> Oh, yes, you know, Skeleton, you got there. At number 13, the, the, probably the happiest skeletons you've ever see, seen, which is crazy because every skeleton's basically smiling. It's the Skeleton Ship. Hooray! Love them. Riding them turtles. Now, here's a skeleton I did not, when we started, expect to see quite as high as long as it has been. It's Drudge Reavers. Very good surprise skeleton. Yeah, like... If we're going, we decided that being able to surprise things is a very important quality of skeletons, and Drudge Reavers uh, do that better than most. Yeah, it, it, it's 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 a black. It's a Drudge skeleton that is surprising. Sure. Mm -hmm. At number eleven, the only skeleton wizard on the list, looking very cool, and also doing the bonus thing of hey, he'll just mind rot a fella if you want. It's Augur of Skulls. All right, all right. Good card. Glad to see it here so long. And here's a card that also I'm very glad to see here. Our top ten. Top yep. ten skeletons. Top ten skeletons. It's Meringue River Skeleton. Also a dark horse. It's just kind of like a very skeleton skeleton in most respects. It's very good about it. It's it's a very long-lasting skeleton, 4,000 years. Mm -hmm. It's workhorse skeleton, loner skeleton, and very surprising in a variety of ways. Yep. Good for him. At number nine, it's skeletonized with its skeleton token. God, it's so good. It's a very good skeleton. Very classic looking ass skeleton. And then also that skeleton can pop out of anything. Yep. Great. At number eight, a very motley assortment of skeletons that just keep on just building up and you know going on. Skeleton scavengers. Not who, who a skeleton I would have expected it to be high, but that's just where I, where it makes sense when you do the science. Makes sense. Yeah, science is weird like that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Number seven, a skeleton so good that they had to ban it twice. A skeleton so nice they banned it twice. Yeah, Golgari Grave Troll, good skeleton. Hell good yeah. Good skeleton. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At number six, hustle. Loyalty, respect, constant team player, gets in there, does what needs to be done, it's duty bound dead, an M13 common, go for it buddy. Hell yeah, duty bound dead, I love you bud. At number five, the classic, the definitive skeleton, the one, the only, drudge skeletons. Woo! Good to see you making it to the top five, buddies. You did it. Mm-hmm. Number four, he tears bats apart to make more bats. Show me Skeletal Vampire! Skeletal Vampire is a great skeleton. Getting the bronze skeleton medal. The bronze skeleton medal goes to one of the most party-heavy skeletons you've ever done seen. This is a skeleton that does work. It's a skeleton that gets in there. It does crowd-pleaser. It's it's Grim Roustabout. What a great name. What a great skeleton. I love basically everything about Grim Roustabout. It's true. Grim Roustabout, for a little bit of trivia, was also the entire the skeleton that inspired us to do this entire thing. Him yep. and how terrible Mortis Strider is. God. <laughs> Ugh. At number two. Oh, man. So good. Just fucking takes the whole skeleton paradigm and flips it on its head and hangs from the ceiling. It's carrying net. Drop like, it from the ceiling to grab its silver medal. The like, pinnacle of surprise and skeletons. The yeah, like, and also it's just like a total inversion. Like, oh, all these other skeletons regenerate or get back from the graveyard. Like, no, this guy hangs out in the graveyard and it just does the thing. And also the graveyard is your ceiling. Mm-hmm. Also, great pun. Great 
great pun. And at number one, the Ur Finally, skeleton, the gold skeleton. The city. It's six mm. pounds of solid chocolate. Reassembling skeleton. A skeleton I that does work. Like, I feel like once we got to reassembling skeleton, there was a definitive top and bottom of this <laughs> list, and they were not going to change. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, reassembling skeleton does... It just does so much in so many ways, and it also has got great like flavor. It looks great. The flavor text is great. It just does so much work. There's nothing. There's not a single thing about reassembling skeleton that that would change. Probably. Yeah, just like out. reassembling skeleton is so good that they made a bad version of it, and it was still yeah. pretty good. And that even that guy, I've. That guy showed up on like the top half of our list, basically. Um, not quite, but almost. So yeah, that that's the list. That is the ordering once, of skeletons. Once again, this is not a list of the best skeleton cards. Just the best skeletons. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Like, if this was an order, like of oh, we will judge every skeleton like objectively or something, it would be a very no, different list. This is an objective scientific list. What are you talking about? A, objective scientific list of like actual skeleton qualities not of mechanics absolutely though so the mechanics yes. often ruled in there so, yeah like yeah. we we took in everything every the whole the, the whole like the whole picture the whole story of the skeleton. all 200 plus bones <laughs> some uh, had a lot more some had a lot less yes hey on average perhaps look at you less. born willow with your like four <laughs> also looking at you guy grave troll with your like two He's got more than that. You... Kokari Grave Troll has the articulation of a Master of the Universe figure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah All right. Me. All right. I think that's this. I'm pressing the button.